What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we got a very special review and we're gonna be taking a look at the 860 V2 Up There collab in the Blossom colorway. I feel like this month I've done a lot of reviews. I did the Ice Studios, the Action Bronson Minimus, and now we got an 860 V2 coming up. I love doing reviews, so I'm really excited to get into a collab like this, which is a very unique collab for my collection, and it's something that I'm very excited to show you guys. So let's get right into it. So what this is, this is an 860 V2, which is one of my personal favorite silhouettes. Um, I have the 860 V2 ALD in that orange colorway. The only pair I had, I was gonna buy a GR colorway, and then I stumbled across this. So it's very fortunate to pick this up. What this is, this is a New Balance collab with Up There, which is an Australian fashion boutique obviously based out in Australia. And it's it's a very, very good collaborator with New Balance. The, every sneaker they've done with them has been phenomenal. And I didn't really know too much about them. And so my good friend Harrison Cable out in Australia, who I uh, collaborate with a few times, and he's always talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Let's take a look at it. And he's the reason I actually got a pair of these. It was like, since Australia, they're under where I'm from, like obviously it's complete opposite ends of the world being in the United States. And he texted me at a, like on Instagram and like, it was probably like 3 a.m. for me. And for whatever reason, I woke up, rolled out of bed, I saw the notification. He sent me the link to the sneaker and the password to get in the website. I rolled out of bed and I bought a pair. I was surprised that they still had some in stock, um, but I was able to get these for retail. This sneaker is the most, one of the most beautiful sneakers I've ever laid my eyes on from any brand ever. Like this is a, pretty sneaker and i'm so glad to break it down and show you guys what it's all about so like i said i love the 860 v2 but it's hard for me to, to, to um find the perfect colorway i should say so i'm really glad that i found this beautiful beautiful blossom colorway you know i just can't say enough great things about it so let's actually get into the materials itself and, and break it down from there as far as the materials it's a pretty standard 860 um, there's no like additive materials other than this lace cover which we'll get into but if you look at it, it has your standard 860 V2 mesh, which this is the most beautiful mesh I've ever seen. It's like princess, like I don't know how to describe it. It's sparkly and it's, it's just beautiful. We also have shiny um, overlays on the heel and over the, on the shoe itself. The thing I like about the 860 so much is there's no suede. So you can wear this in the rain. This would be a good spring sneaker. So yeah, I'm in winter right now. Um, it snowed for the first time today, so I probably won't be wearing a spring sneaker in the winter, unfortunately, but I will do definitely wear the sneaker a good fair amount. Nylon mesh, very standard New Balance, no suede, like I said, mesh all around, super breathable. It looks great. We got these plastic, like nylon-ish overlays here and on the mud guard. Um, the N is just your typical New Balance N. I absolutely love the way this mesh looks, this retro runner. I think when you look at the 2002R, the 1906, and then this sneaker, I feel like they're all in a family. This is my favorite out of those three. I just think this sneaker is one of the best New Balance silhouettes, just because it looks so great. Now you wanna talk about like A6 and, and some of these Nike shoes. This is, I think this tops all those in that sort of retro runner type vibe. I think New Balance should push this sneaker more than it does because I truly, truly think this is one of their best silhouettes. I mean, the thing that makes this sneaker so special, this specific colorway is this like metallic um, shininess coat to these, to these overlays. You don't see that too often. I think it looks phenomenal on this sneaker, especially right here where it has the 860 V2 branding. It just looks amazing. The white mesh in the back, as well as the white on the toe mud guard white here it just it looks great the pink and the blue could not have mixed together any better it's just absolutely perfect and it just shows how strong up there is when it comes to color coding before we get into that lace guard that i mentioned earlier i want to show you guys what it looks like without that so i took the lace guard off of this pair and i just put the regular laces in it i think this looks great i'll probably wear the lace guard i'll put it back on this sneaker and i'll probably wear that for a little bit just to see how it is because I don't have a shoe with that something like that before but I think this looks better in my opinion I think just the classic 860 v2 looks great with just the laces and so for the laces I, the laces I have in and which it comes in with um, is these white with the blue outline your typical 860 v2 laces I think these look great and I'm probably gonna keep these laces in there 
but they did give us uh, three lace options. And that seems like to be a trend for 860 V2 collabs. I know my ALD pair has the same colors of laces, same amount of laces, I should say. You get a purple pair, a green pair, and a all white pair. And now these laces are interesting because they almost have like, um, I don't even know what you would say, like chunks in them, like clots. Let's call it clots of like, I don't even know. So they look really interesting. I'm not sure how they'll look in the actual sneaker. Uh, so I kept those out of the sneaker. I'll probably, if I did put a pair in, I'd probably do the green, honestly. I think having these green laces thrown in here would really throw the sneaker off, kind of match that insole, um, and it would look great. Now there is no up there branding on the sneaker itself. It just has typical New Balance branding. You wouldn't even know it's a collab unless you're a real one. To talk about the actual lace guard, this is one of the main reasons why I bought the sneaker because I was so interested in this lace guard. I know that Up There does this a few times and this is the first time that they've used a zipper with it because I know before they just put a plastic piece there and it kind of received some complaints. But all it is is just a guard for your laces. So essentially what you do is you tie your laces, you tuck them under and it, it just keeps your laces contained and you don't have to worry about your shoes getting untied. Now I think that the gray looks great I think that it does a good job. I wish it would have been maybe pink or blue, but I'm not gonna beg or I'm not gonna choose. I, I think this is great. And on the inside, it does have a nice metallic green. The zipper is very high quality, and I don't think it would ever be a problem of breaking or coming undone. It's very strong, very sturdy, and it's a great material to, to guard off rain or any materials that could get damaged under that, keep your laces nice and clean. Um, it's just a style aspect and it looks great. So. I'm definitely gonna put it back on the other shoe that I showed you guys just to actually wear it and enjoy it and see what it's truly about. It's great, I love it. So like I said, the colors are very pastel, very beautiful, elegant, almost something you would wear to like a baby shower. I think this would be the perfect baby shower shoes, um, blue or pink, I think it looks great. I like that they used pink as the primary color on the sneaker for the mesh as opposed to the blue. I think the pink really makes it more spring vibey. I don't know. I just, I like the way it looks. It's very elegant. I'm assuming these are called the blossoms because I'm going into winter right now where I live in, in Ohio and down in Australia, they're going into summer. So I think that's probably why they released these then um, because it just doesn't make sense to release a spring sneaker in the winter. I would say the 860 V2 is pretty durable. I think it's, I think it'll last you a long time. I know that I've worn my 1906 for a very long time and it's, it's held up pretty well. The comfort is probably an eight out of 10 overall. I think this midsole is one of the most versatile New Balance midsoles they offer. Um, you got the stability web and you also have these three cool little bubbles um, that holds your uh, foot pretty stable and sturdy as you're walking throughout your day. Now, could you run in these? It says New Balance running on them. Sure you could, but I probably wouldn't run too far in them. So like I said, the sneaker is super breathable and it looks great. You really can't go wrong. This is the most ideal spring summer shoe in my opinion, you could really get your summer activities done in the rain and outside in the sun. It's a great sneaker to wear during your summer and spring months. Now, as far as the box, this is a collab, but we get a pretty um, pretty bland box, not gonna lie. This is just a gray New Balance box and there's nothing special about it. No special t tissue paper, just a boring gray GR New Balance box, unfortunately. But with that boring box up there made up for it with giving us this beautiful pink um, tote bag. Um, I will definitely be using this. I think this is just as cool as the Action Bronson uh, bag that he gave with the, the Rose Waters and the, the other 1906s. This definitely makes up for it. You got that sparkly end branding. Great, great little additive uh, for a nice collab like this. So let's go get an on foot look and we'll come back for the conclusion. This is a phenomenal sneaker. Might be one of my top five favorite collabs that I own. I know that everybody that I've showed these to in my life have absolutely loved them. So I figured that'd be the case for a lot of other people. This is a great sneaker. A sneaker that's worth having. I don't know how much the resale is right now, but this is a very, very 
beautiful sneaker. I'm very happy I finally have a pair of these, and especially because it's my first up there collab. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I think these sneakers are perfect, and we'll see you in the next one.